We're here today at the LA Art Show as part of the Diverse Art LA presentation. The Museum of Art and History and the City of Lancaster is representing here on a project that is focused on climate change and sea level rising. It is the City of Lancaster's mission to become the first hydrogen city and we are focused on raising awareness for our climate change and our carbon footprint. So it is appropriate that we have this exhibition with Osceola Refetov, Repairing the Future, and we are presenting his film Sea of Change and the project that was originally funded by Building Bridges Art Foundation is a project that the artists did in collaboration with NASA scientists on sea level rising. And we are just thrilled to be here and we really appreciate the opportunity from the LA Art Show. The center of the show is an eight minute video called Sea of Change. It's a video that I made during my artist residency in Svalbard near the North Pole and also includes footage from uh, Central Valley of California and the Salton Sea. The video also includes these chairs, which this is a sculptor I created in order to make a visual and visceral representation of sea level rise. And so the chair on the floor represents our current sea level at Santa Monica Pier, about 14 miles from here. And the other three chairs are NASA-based projections for climate change or sea level rise in the year 2120. Depending on how much carbon we emit, there's a quite frightening possibility and also much more hopeful. And the idea behind the show is to get people to think about that and to understand how that will impact the future. There's also a couple of photographs that not only appear on the wall, but also in the video. And the video itself is a work in progress in the sense that it's like the climate story, not finished. Whenever I show it in a new location, I add new footage that's local to that specific place and includes data points about sea level rise specific to that particular part of the shoreline. Initially, I had an artist and science residency on a boat in Svalbard. It was a tall ship and uh, there was 27 artists and a couple of scientists and we spent the time working on our individual projects and also collaborating. Then last summer I was invited by Building Bridges which is a local art curatorial organization and I was paired with a scientist from NASA who works at JPL. At the time he, Dr. Eric Leroy was in charge of the sea level and ice group but in the meantime he's been promoted and now he's the manager of the earth sciences group and he's in charge of everyone at NASA who's looking back towards the Earth. So we work together to try to think about ways to visualize the data that NASA has and put it in a way that people can digest. I think if you look at graphs and you look at numbers, it can be difficult to understand what they mean. And it's also, I think that art provides an opportunity to have a more emotional reaction to the information. There's been a couple of studies where people were shown a graph and a painting of a graph and it turned out that the painting of the graph was much more effective in messaging. People didn't get into a conversation about whether the data was true or fake news, and they also had a much more emotional reaction. And so I think that artists that are working thoughtfully inside this space can help to steer the climate conversation in ways that are useful and meaningful. What's been amazing here is the thousands of people who rolled through here, in particular in the morning, they bring hundreds of school kids through, and you just see them interacting with it, asking questions, and I think it's just been a, just a, a real delight to see so many people responding to the material, but also thinking about the message.